Okay. I, I have a question. I'm okay. just curious, with this, um, I like to call it unsocial uh, media, um, what do you feel is the effect when both of the uh, couples are addicted to social media? Does that have a profound effect on the relationship? Social media, yeah, social media is, has a pernicious effect on relationships. Now I want you to understand this. The psychological impact it has on people. You see, behind the phone, you can adopt any persona you want. The charming, loving, macho man. Eh? But you're a decrepit old man. You understand? You are living in a world of fantasy. It has a profound impact. In fact, I will say this to you. And with children and family life, there are three things I recommend for every home. I recommend that. I recommend a family routine, which you sit with your children and your spouse, discuss the family routine. It does many things. I don't talk about it. They say a family that eats together, plays together, and prays together, stays together. Hmm? So you could do lots of things as a family. If you want to change your life, do a lifestyle audit. Look at your routine, number one. Next thing you look at, you look at your family values. What are our values as a family? Hmm? You look at it, right? Then you look at family goals, the collective goals and personal goals within that, right? Now, social media is when people are living in a virtual world, hmm? a virtual world, where it's more about self-absorption and your vanity. I see this, it's such a common sight. When you go to a restaurant, for example, couples walk in, they came in together, and they're sitting opposite each other, and I can assume they're husband and wife, but there's no conversation. Except when the waiter comes, then they, you know what I mean? She's busy, he's busy. Now what have you done? What have you done? You have come there, and someone had to ask you, what did you do? He said, no, my wife and I went to a restaurant. Oh, she's so lucky. The wife will say, what happened? No, my husband and I went to a restaurant. But what did you do? Did it bring you closer together? So in fact, in my parenting program, I give parents about 24 guidelines. I say the following, amongst the things. When you come home, when you are at home, the phones are all kept in a basket. Finish. You spend time, it's not there, it's all silent, you might get an urgent call. People need to know. Those who love you will know how to contact you anyway. Right? Eating time is meeting time. There are no phones there whatsoever. Right? At a particular time at night, each one of you can take up the phone, say 9 o'clock to see if any messages there. Right? Afterwards, the phones do not go into your bedroom. Finish. Because what this does, really, even studies have shown... Studies have shown that if even just before a meeting or kids writing an examination, if they were to access the messages, it, it impacts on the results by 10% because they get so preoccupied. Really. So it's, it's something, uh, you know, because what does, you know, I jokingly say, you know what I jokingly say, right? Uh, okay, two things, right? I jokingly say that... Uh, Ask the guy, how did you meet your wife? He said, I met her on Facebook. Right? And when they get married, they can't face each other. Hmm? Like uh, one of my uh, friends, uh, he told me his son is getting married to a girl from Russia. So, so I started laughing. Why are you laughing? I said, <laughs> I said, your son told you all the time he was doing email, but all the time he was doing female. You know what I mean? Contacting. So this year, it requires discipline. What has happened that in another study, a children of 12 and 13 were interviewed. They were asked this question. If you get a chance of playing football with your friends, 
or watching television or playing with your cell phone, they can choose playing with your cell phones. Therefore, this has stunted the socializing skills of children. They cannot have conversations. They're living in a world of instant gratification. They are really emotionally deprived. They suffer from emotional deprivation. So that's, you know.